Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you guys how to export your tracks, how to export stems in Pro Tools. Other DAWs have this feature, you can export all your tracks at once, and then you can take them and import them into the DAWs. The Pro Tools doesn't have this option. The only way that a lot of people know how to do it, you highlight the track you want to export, you're going to solo it, you go to file, bounce to this, you bounce that entire track, and you wait for it to finish, and once that finishes, you do the next one, and so on and so on. That sucks. If you're working with a session that has uh, 20, 30 tracks, you have to do track by track. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this inside of Pro Tools really fast, but there's a couple of things you need to do before we get to that step. Now, over here, I have this session. It's not a big session. It's only a couple of tracks, a couple of effects. Let me play for you guys. Everything's already consolidated, but let's say we had a track that needed to be consolidated. Now, if you don't know what consolidating is, let me show you. I'm going to open Strip Silence, and, and I'm going to separate the snare. So over here, we have the snare. Let me solo that. If you have your session like this, there's a lot of edits. You're going to need to consolidate everything. If not, this is not going to work. So let me show you what you have to do. Press Enter on your keyboard. You're going to go to the beginning of the session. Control A. You're going to select everything inside of the session. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to hold down Shift, Alt, and the number three. And now it's going to consolidate the whole entire session. This could take a while. Nice. So here we go. It completed. Everything's consolidated from the beginning to the end of the track. Now all we have to do, we have to export each individual track. Over here, you want to open the Regions windows or the Clips window. And over here are all the files in your session. But before I do anything, I want to get rid of these. These are the instrument tracks. I don't want to delete them. I just want to hide them. Now that the instrument tracks are hidden, I want to select everything in the session again. Enter A. And the first thing you're going to notice over here in the Regions or the Clips window, all the files are highlighted now. Everything in the session that's highlighted here, it's showing you over here. So everything in the clips or the regions window highlighted, it's the WAV files in your session. Now what we have to do, we're going to go to the first one. We're going to right click, export clip as files. The export selected window opens. It looks like the bounce to this window. There's a couple of options here. This is what I selected. File type, of course, I want it to be a WAV uh, format. You can put it at multiple. You can select uh, multiple mono files. I don't want it like that. I want to keep it at interleave. And the bit depth, it's up to you. I'm going to keep mine at 24. Sample rate, 48K. And the only thing left is choose your destination. So let's do that. I'm going to create a new folder on the desktop. And I'm going to call it drums. Select that directory. And export. And there you go. Now it's exporting each individual track is doing everything at once. So you no longer have to sit here and bounce each individual track. So right here we have Studio One Artist. Now I'm going to create a new session. I'm going to go to song. I'm going to call it drums. Over here at the sample rate, I'm going to set it to 48. Everything else, I'm going to keep it at default. We're going to press OK. Now I want to go over here to song and I want to go to import. I'm already here at the drums 2 directory. These are all the files we extracted from our original session. So let's select all of the files and we're going to open. Zoom in. Nice. So as you can see, everything's here. Everything imported. So let's play. Hopefully everything should work out good. Nice. Everything lined up correctly. Everything's ready to go. So now you can mix, you can do whatever you want, you can record. I don't know if you guys noticed on the snare, I had a little bit of reverb there. And over here, there's no reverb. Reason, I didn't print the effect. So if you have an effect that you want, you need to print that effect. If not, this is what's going to happen. You're going to get the files without the effect. There's a lot of ways to do this. I didn't cover that. But if you guys are interested in knowing how to print effects, just let me know. But anyway, guys, you see that subscribe button? Click that. Rate this video. Give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, post on the bottom. You could also check me out on Twitter and Google+. Plus. 